In this problem, we want to solve the, the polynomial inequality. And then we got x minus 4 squared times x plus 5 is less than 0. Okay, now let's look at our steps. First step says get everything on the left side, 0 on the right side. That's done. Step two says factor the left side, set each factor equal to zero and solve. These are critical values. Well, these are already factored, so I just need to set my factors equal to zero. So I'll set x minus four equal to zero, and x plus five is equal to zero. Take the negative four over, it becomes a positive four. Take the five over, it becomes a negative five. Now these are our critical values, so step three using your x-axis critical values and graph and determine the answer. Well, negative 5 I'll put here, and 4 I'll put here. Clear over here is negative infinity, clear over here is positive infinity. These split them into intervals. Now if we look at our graph, if we were to plug this in, um, I got x to the second power here, that gives me x to the x squared times x gives me x to the third. So I know it more or less. What does it look like? Uh, try it again. Okay. Um, okay, now I see it. <laughs> um, drew a blank there for a minute. I'm watching Jason on AMC, and I should be uh, focusing on this. Uh, my multiplicity up here is 2, which means it touches at a point. So it's on touch at 4. So it's coming up like this, just like I was thinking. But then it's coming down here, touching at this point, and going back up, like that. Now, if, if I don't remember that, I don't remember about touching and crossing and multiplicity and all that, just graph it. It's really easy to see them. So I come over here. Press Y equals clear x minus 4 with parentheses around it, and then my squared, and then uh, parentheses around the x plus 5, and then graph. And you see it comes up, passes through there, and comes down, touches at 4, and goes back up, just like I was indicating. Now, you see the graph doesn't look anything alike, but we don't care about that. All we're trying to do is identify them above and below. Okay, now this problem is a less than, less than, says the answer is below the x-axis. Well, where it's below the x-axis will be right here, which is negative infinity to negative 5. Now, um, infinities always have parentheses on it. This is a less than. If I come over here, less than says the answer is, wait, less, less than, uh, we use parentheses. So we parentheses run that. So that'd be your answer. Negative infinity, negative five. Press these around both.